This video will explain the easiest way to set up conversion API for your Facebook ads in 2024 and beyond. It requires no plugins, no hard coding. So stick around and I'm going to walk you through it. There's a thousand ways that you can install Conversion API nowadays with various partner integrations, you've got plugins, and of course, if all of that fails, if you can't use any of that, you have the hard coding option. But unless you have technical knowledge about developers and coding, that's gonna be really, really difficult. So this solution that we found, which is with www.stape.io, doesn't require any plugins that are potentially gonna slow down your website and doesn't require any hard coding at all. So let's just dive in and I'll show you how to do it. And then I need to give you a couple of little warning factors about how Stape works and how you are gonna get the best out of it. If you just upload Stape, it's not gonna be tracking all of your conversion metrics, like your add to carts, your initiate checkouts, your purchases, unless you set that up yourself. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. Let's jump into the laptop. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is come to www.stape.io um, and you will need to create an account if you don't, but we obviously already have an account. So I'll just quickly log into that. So what you're gonna see is this screen here uh, and essentially, there is a small fee to this, it's 10 US dollars a month, so it is a really, really cheap, cost-effective solution. It doesn't require any coding, any plugins, or anything like that that's gonna slow down your website. But it does work off your pre-existing, established pixel events that are in your events manager. So I'm gonna talk through that a little bit. All you're gonna do, quite simply, is come to Create CapiIG. I'm just gonna put Test in there, but you would name your gateway there, so whatever your business or your client's name is and you click create. You select what plan you want, or you can just put in a seven day free trial. And then you have to enter your payment details. So once you've inputted your payment details, you're gonna be shown this screen here. And quite simply, we're gonna to come to finish CAP EIG setup. You enter a password, so I'll just put in test test. and you create your account. Right, so once we are finally in, after going through all of the all of the steps that you need to take to get to here, they're really, really self-explanatory. You've inputted your payment details, you've created your password, you then need to go back and log in, and then quite simply, we add a data source down here. So we'll allow all of those cookies, and we're gonna click Get Started. So I will continue as me and we're gonna select next. Allow host account admin to enable meta business extension. Yes, we want to allow that. And I'm going to select the client account that I want to set up. Okay, so we're gonna select next from there and we're gonna select the required pixel. I select next. Yes, we want automatic advanced matching on because we want to send the pixel as much data as we can. Select next again, and it's now linking. So it now says you've linked Conversion API, API Gateway to Facebook. And that, that's it. That's then done. Uh, so we want to share our business with this site. Job's done. Now we'll wait a little bit of time and we're gonna start seeing the events published down here. But let's now jump across into Facebook because there are some things that we need to be aware of. Okay, so this is in the client's account and what we can see right at the top within the events manager is two active integrations. Whereas when it was just the pixel, that would have shown as one active integration. We can click here and we can see the conversion API is now active. When we scroll down to all of these different metrics, we can see under purchases, we can see we now have two lines showing, one for the pixel event and one for the server event. And when I say pixel is what I, what I mean is browser uh, because the pixel tracks on the browser. Uh, and we can see all of our events are tracking both conversion API and pixel events. The thing is with Stape, 
If you have, for example, a custom coded website and you are only tracking one thing, which is likely to be a view content or a page view, uh, this seems to be the one thing that is automatically set up a lot of the time with a pixel. Um, it's not gonna track all these other metrics. So you're gonna need to establish them the old fashioned way via the pixel, via the event setup tool. And once you've done that, it, the conversion API set up through Stape will back up all the pre-existing events that you have set up through your pixel. So you have to set them up normally uh, or the old fashioned way and the conversion API through Stape will back it all up. But that is literally all there is to it and there'll be no website issues, there will be no custom coding issues, there's no having to plug in through conversion API certain event parameters, none of that. Really, really simple and it's, it's a good bit of software, it works really, really well. And what we actually found is that it works retrospectively and when we installed it on this client's website, what it did is it backdated a lot of their purchases through Conversion API and it started finding loads of conversion events that the Pixel had missed before, which exponentially improved our return on ad spend and improved on an ongoing basis Facebook ads ability to optimize and create greater sales. So I hope you like that video. I hope you got lots of value about it. Do like and subscribe. We're an agency. We're doing this stuff day in, day out, unlike a lot of these YouTube content creators in the digital marketing space. They're just content creators, guys. So like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.